Welcome back to What Are T Nibs for General Disturbance. This is a T-49. It's a tier 9 American light tank and this one's located on the south spawn of Siegfried line and it's under the command of Zoe Balls but this is another team killing video but with a twist this time the team killer is an arty. Yep you got it right the arty behind her the M5355 is gonna team kill her. Not just once tried to kill her Twice he tries to kill her. Okay, battle has started. And so he's proceeding to the midline. He's doing what any light tank would do, which is spot for the enemy. Try and find them, allow her team to shoot them. Now she's got the derp gun, which is uh, quite a powerful HE gun, as you can see there. It's a 152mm gun. 910 alpha damage and so he's stopped at the center now she's been spotted she knocked a tree down but she was spotted i think probably by that centurion 71 and she is attracting fire already now i'm going to pull back out because you can see some of the action yep that was a shell intended for zoe i suspect it wasn't an arty ram because otherwise she would have got splashed and stunned but I think it was another T-49 firing turn. Now Zoe pulls up to the centre line. That's a quick look. And she's been spotted again. And this time round, she gets hit by the T-49 again. 906 hit points. A really bad hit. You can see where it landed, right on the front. Zoe's lost nearly half her hit points. She's lost the loader. And she's also been ammo racked. So she's really badly damaged. And on her way back to recover she's only got a small repair kit she gets hit again by the same t49 and is now down to just 107 hit points and a third shot comes in from the back chap 155 58 just to add insult to injury and she's now down to 26 hit points 26 so effectively her chance of spotting for her team is greatly reduced she's lost her gun her ammo rack her tracks have been damaged and she's lost the loader and she's only got uh, a small repair kit and a small first aid kit to try and recover. So she's used both of those already. And she's used her large repair kit to fix all the problems. So he's not carrying a fire uh, extinguisher. She's actually carrying uh, just a, a large repair kit, a small one and a first aid kit. Now you can see the M55 over there in the distance. And so he's still firing at the enemy, even though she's trying to recover and get her loader back in. But you see the M55 in the distance. He's firing at the enemy, or rather he's pointing at the enemy. But any second now he's going to turn and fire at Zoe. Why? Because he thinks that Zoe's no longer taking part. Now he's aiming at Zoe. Okay, now Zoe is about to move. So he's used her uh, repair kit, her uh, first aid kit, and there's a first attempt to try and kill her by Spazu Da Rangatan. So he's tried once, and he failed the first time, so he's now repositioning so he can get a better shot at killing Zoe. I mean, how ridiculous can you get? Instead of trying to kill the enemy, he's trying to kill Zoe! What possible reason could you have for trying to do that when you've got a, a perfectly good enemy to shoot at out there? And the only reason I can think of is that this particular M55 has got it in for Zoe. Now you can see he's positioned himself directly behind Zoe in the distance. Zoe pulls away. There he goes. And he's just killed Zoe. Absolutely no reason for that whatsoever. None at all. He's just actually reduced the number of spotters on his team made it more difficult for him to fire at the enemy. And Zoe was still taking part in the battle, as you can see. She wasn't too far away from the center line when she was killed. And Zoe's now saying, report the M55, and others are saying affirmative, because they must be very annoyed that they've lost the scout. And then the conversation goes on where Zoe actually warns him he's about to be appear on YouTube. Uh, which, of course, he is now going to appear on YouTube on our channel. So people are going to be aware of Spazu Da Rangutang. He's a team killer. And he shouldn't really be in the game at all. He deliberately team killed Zoe for absolutely no reason whatsoever. 
Okay, now Zoe ended the replay prematurely. Uh, and this can have consequences for the replay because it might not play. So I would remind you, if you do get team killed, do not exit the game early. Let the game complete so we can see who actually won the game. And if you lost the game as a result of the team kill. And it also preserves the quality of the replay so that we can see what the results were. And then pass that on to Wargaming. Uh, for comparison. There you go. The replay has ended prematurely. Zoe understood that she'd made a mistake by doing what she uh, take coming out of the replay early. But let's have a look at the end of battle results so you can actually see. Well, this is what the end of battle results looks like if you end early. We don't see any. We don't see what exactly happened. Um, and that's very unfortunate because at least we'd like to know exactly what did happen in the game. But Spazu Da Rangutang is a team killer. And if you see them in the game, uh, then you know what to do. Make their life an absolute misery. So, um, there you go. He's on EU server, by the way. Um, and uh, Zoe actually pointed that out uh, because obviously sometimes I forget to mention which server these people are on in the video so you can actually add them to your blacklist. But do add this person to your blacklist because he went out of his way to team kill Zoe and there was absolutely no reason for doing it whatsoever. Thank you for watching.